This is the third video in the Quest Machine tutorial series. In this video, we'll create a collection quest that looks like this. First, it requires completion of a prerequisite quest. This is our collection quest to collect three chests. The HUD has a counter. We pick up that final chest and return to the captain. Before we get started, I previously forgot to mention one optional setup step on our quest giver, the quest indicator UI. This is very simple to set up. Add an empty game object to the quest giver and add a Quest Indicator Manager component to it. Then assign a Quest Indicator UI prefab, such as the one in the Prefabs folder. You can also assign a scene object if you prefer. This collection quest will require that you've completed the Explore Circle quest first, so we'll start with the scene from the previous video. We'll create a new database, assign it to Quest Machine, and add the Explore Circle quest. Then we'll create a new quest named Retrieve Chests. Add both quests to the quest giver. Set the Retrieve Chests quest's title and icon. Since we don't want to offer this quest until the player has completed the first quest, add an Offer condition. Select Quest State Quest Condition and specify that Explore Circle is successful. Next, we'll set up the Offer text. Just like with our previous quest, we'll set up the active state's headings. We'll also set up the journal entry for the successful state. To keep track of the number of chests that the player has picked up, we're going to use a counter. In the Counters section, click plus and name the counter Chests. We'll set the max value to 3. We'll use a message to update the counter value. Change Value Mode to Messages and set the message and parameter to Got Chest. When the quest receives this message, it will modify the value of chests by the literal value of plus 1. I've already set up a chest prefab that's set up similarly to the circle that we set up in the previous quest. It uses an onTrigger enter event and quest control to send the message got chest when the player enters its trigger collider. And then it will deactivate itself. 
Got chest is the message that the quest counter is listening for. We're going to use a quest machine spawner to spawn three chests when this quest becomes active. We'll start with an empty game object that I've named chest spawner. Add a spawner component. Set the spawner name. And we'll specify the prefabs that it can spawn. In this case, just the chest prefab. And we'll set the weight to one, which is the probability that it will spawn this prefab. We can leave the radius at 10, and we'll set the min and max values to 3. We have not ticked auto start because we don't want it to start when the scene starts. We'll control when it starts in the quest. Back in the quest editor, let's set up our nodes. Call the first condition get chests. When this node starts, we want to start the spawner. Select Control Spawner and specify the spawner name. Then we'll set up the UI content. In the HUD text, we're going to use special tags to show the current counter value. You can type these manually, but once again, we're going to use the Quest Reference window. On the Counters tab, we can see that we can get the tag for the current value of the chest's counter. We'll copy this to the clipboard and paste it in the HUD text. Then we'll grab the max value, although we could have just manually typed in 3. For this node's condition, we'll use a counter condition. We could require that the value is at least 3, but to be more flexible, we'll require that the value is at least the counter max value. The next node is just a return to quest giver node like we set up in the previous tutorial. As in the previous tutorial, we'll use the Quest Reference window to get one of the built-in messages. And this is how it plays. We'll first complete the prerequisite quest. And then we'll do our counter-based quest. Watch as the counter increments. And when we hit the required value, it goes to the next node to return to the captain. This video covered counters and spawners. 
In the next video, we'll make a quest with conditional branches, where the player can complete a quest different ways, such as a peaceful solution or a violent solution.